Hello and welcome back to educator.com and welcome back to physical chemistry. So today our discussion of molecular spectroscopy continues. Okay, now we corrected for the rigid rotator energies. Uh, let me see, I think I'll go back to black here. So we corrected for the rigid rotator energies by adjusting for both the vibration rotation interaction for both vibration rotation interaction and for centrifugal distortion sorry about that centrifugal distortion Okay, now the rigid rotator there the energy was J times J plus 1. The adjustment for centrifugal distortion The adjustment for centrifugal distortion gave us f of j equals b times j times j plus 1 minus this j squared j plus 1 squared. If we also decide to include the uh, centrifugal, I'm sorry, the uh, vibration rotation interaction, adjustment for vibration rotation interaction plus the centrifugal distortion we end up with this longer and not altogether necessary equation f of j equals e times j times j plus 1 minus alpha e times r plus 1 half times j plus 1 minus d j squared times j plus 1 squared. We must now make a correction to the harmonic oscillator to allow for the fact that the potential energy curve is not harmonic. It's not a parabola. We must now adjust, I'll say make corrections, corrections to the harmonic oscillator. <clears throat> to adjust for the fact that the Oscillator deviates from harmonic behavior for higher vibrational states. So as R increases, it starts to deviate more from the parabola from higher vibrational states. In other words, as the vibrational quantum number r increases.